What is going on guys? Craig1287 here, bringing you yet another Betafield 4 video. Uh, there in the background going to be seeing some Battlefield 4 beta uh, gameplay. And what the purpose of the video today is, is pretty much a discussion and an update and quite possibly a clarification uh, on the whole Battle Pack system. Now we were you know, told about battle packs before the beta even came out and before we had access to it. And, you know, there, there's a little iffy information on exactly what they entailed. Then when the beta came out, we got to experience those, um, those battle packs. And uh, generally, the mo for the most part, the uh, consensus was uh, negative. Uh, very negative attitudes towards the battle pack system. At first, people were pretty cool about it, but when the beta actually happened and we found out that the Coyote site, it's pretty much all to, you know, came down to the to the Coyote site. Uh, you, the only way you could get the Coyote per weapon was if you got it out of a battle pack. Your uh, the two other sites, the you know the U.S. Red Dot and then the uh, the Russian uh, Cobra. The only way, you know, you could get those by using the gun, and over time you would eventually get the, uh, you know, whichever one the default one was, and then you would get the, the other one. But the only way to get the Coyote, which generally is considered to be the best site uh, in terms of its, you know, the way the reticle works and in terms of how much uh, screen space it takes up or lack thereof. Uh, so that's why, you know, people really wanted to get that one and having it be up to chance based on your rank unlocking of these battle packs rather than, you know, how much you use the weapon uh, really pissed a lot of people off. Uh, me kind of in that, you know, in that bracket because... I really liked the Coyote from my, you know, time using it in the beta. I randomly unlocked it for the AK-12, and, um, I mean, it is by far the best uh, out of the three sites for me personally. Um, but DICE has released a article on their, their uh, Battlefield blog, and uh, I've got a link to that in the video description. Now, it mostly talks about... Uh, stuff dealing with uh, the medals and uh, ribbons that you'll be unlocking in the rank system. Um, yeah, I mean, you can, uh, you know, check that out and read it, but really not much has changed. They give some details as to uh, how many of each there is and, and things like that, but really they haven't changed much. Uh, there's a section in there about the assignments, a uh, little bit more information about the uh, field upgrades. Uh, nothing really that we haven't heard before. Uh, a little bit of stuff about knives, yeah, but nobody really cares about that stuff. I mean, there's really nothing new. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the bulk of people that read this article jumped straight to the battle pack section. And even then, there's really not that much details uh, in stuff that we hadn't heard or, you know, anything until the uh, last few sentences of the third paragraph there. And I'll read it. It says, The special weapon battle packs are awarded for each weapon after completing all its regular unlocks. Thus, a player faithful to a specific carbine will eventually obtain all of its accessories by simply using it. And here got a, a image. Um, and I'll also have this image linked in the video description so you can read it uh, you know, and look at it more in depth uh, later on. But this was uh, something that kind of, I guess, was a, a bug in the beta. It kind of leaked through. And this is pretty much what that battle pack is. Uh, and you can see even on the uh, that battle log, uh, Battlefield blog uh, article, they've got the bronze, silver, gold briefcases, and then they've got this same black one that is in the image here on uh, in the video right now. And this is just uh, something someone posted on for Reddit, and uh, I don't have a link to their post, uh, but they did say that they, they eventually used the QBS-09 uh, enough to pretty much max the weapon out, and then this would pop up every time they used the weapon and got at least one kill in the round, they would get this at the end of the round. Uh, they never got any unlocks for it, but they did get this whole thing popping up saying, hey, you've unlocked this. Uh, and here it says it contains four items. I don't know if that's what it would be for everything. 
you know, this is just, it's, you know, clearly this was not supposed to be in the beta or available. Uh, the article makes it seem like that once you unlock all of the, you know, default uh, attachments, uh, all the default uh, uh, foregrip and suppressor, and, uh, the sight, and you know, muzzle brake and all that stuff, uh, you know, you will eventually get this one, which gives you all the versions of everything for that weapon. Um, this one, spe you know, specifically says contains four items, which I'm pretty sure there's more than just four things that have different variants. Um, I could be wrong. Who knows? Maybe I, I don't know. I, it's it's just way too early. There's not enough info to really speculate. Uh, so, but it, but it, you know. Dice says in the battle log, uh, battlefield blog, keep saying battle log, that uh, simply by using the gun, you'll eventually unlock all the attachments for it. That's great. Um, so that's some of the kind of clarification that I was talking about. Um, Dice, I'm, I don't know if this was added in later, uh, has a response to the hate because this image right here uh, that I linked was already in the beta before all the hate came out. So uh, basically, people were getting. See, it seems like people were just getting pissed for no reason. You know, it's it's beta. People like to form a lot of opinions and things like that. And uh, I know, I know, I'm uh, guilty of doing that somewhat. But I try to hold off on voicing my opinions too much and and truly forming an opinion before you know you get your hands on the full game. And even then, there's always day one patches or week one patches that can change things. Uh, based on the, you know, level of complaints that the community makes. So, you know, it seems like the battle packs are not as bad uh, as originally thought by myself and by the general community, which is great because uh, it was one of my top three complaints uh, about the beta. Now, had this not happened, I still would have, you know, bought the game. I already have it pre-ordered as well as uh, the uh, premium uh, thing, so I, you know, I wouldn't changed it, but this is just comforting. Then, for those of you that have stuck around, <laughs> I will have links to this below uh, in the video description. But uh, battle packs, you're going to be able to get some of the, uh, or at least a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Uh, you could even go ahead and possibly get them now uh, through Slim Jim. They are doing a little uh, partnership with uh, EA and Dice, and of course Battlefield 4. And so select Slim Jim packs are going to have codes for getting content. And uh, in the link, there's, there's uh, well, this is linking to you to the, to the home page. Uh, but then there's a how it works tab there at the top that tells you, what, you know, what all you need to do uh, to redeem them. And then there's a see the goods tab. And it talks about how you can get double XP from one credit. Uh, it seems like every code guarantees you at least one credit. Um, and then you can get the bronze pack with an additional credit, so totaling two. A silver battle pack it will cost you two credits, so at that point you'll have to have totaled four. And then a gold battle pack will cost three credits, so that totals seven. And you can only get one of each of those four perks or bonuses or content uh, per console. It says per console on the page. I'm guessing that also includes PC. So basically per account, I guess. Um... Who knows? Maybe uh, you could probably, if you have a, you know, if you have it on PlayStation Three and then get it on PlayStation Four. I don't know if that will, you know, let you double up or anything like that. But uh, I'm sure that they have thought that through. So this will, you know, at least let you get uh, three of the battle packs and a little XP boost um, if you buy a crap ton of Slim Jims. You don't have to eat them if you're a health nut, but definitely buy those. And get them before the game comes out so you get at least a little bit of head start on some of the attachments. I will be doing this just because I actually can enjoy Slim Jims, especially on some of the uh, backpacking trips that I go on. Uh, it's a great way to get some uh, protein and, you know, dehydrated food and all that crap. So, you know, check that out. Uh, you don't have to because as we just saw in the Battlefield blog thing, you can get all the attachments simply by using the guns. So hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay going on there in the background. I hope you have uh, seen the light and had things clarified for these battle packs. Uh, hopefully you, if you're one of the ones that were hating on it, that now you uh, have been put at ease just as I have been. And um, if you're a Slim Jim person or you 
aren't but want some battle packs early, then hopefully all the content and the commentary here has helped you out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the whole shebang here. Have a good one. Ta-ta.